You've heard quite a lot about DNA profiling. What we try and do is develop better means of generating DNA profiles from sort of really small things. Think about things you might touch very briefly. Now, that could be really useful forensic evidence. What we try and do is generate DNA profiles from things that currently are quite difficult to do. Forensic scientists are really good at working with trace amounts of material, but universities are full of people that can do smart things to analyze materials. And that's where the collaboration really bears fruit. They can come to us and say, we have a problem. Can we fix it? So they bring us the problem. We hopefully investigate it, but we investigate that in collaboration with them. And then we feed that back to them to use more on the front line. So that's why the synergy works really, really well because we have the frontline people with forensic science, we have the academic input from the university, as well as the facilities, and then it's a feedback loop. Where we have people here and expertise and students, they have supervision and they have insight into what they'd like addressed. It works both ways. That's why this collaboration is something I don't see anywhere else in the world. Up until recently, you couldn't see where you've touched something. Imagine like a knife handle, something we developed is a little die you can put on that knife handle and you can see where you've touched. That's brilliant. What we see is very quick impact between research and it actually doing something. So when I hear about criminal cases around the world, which is using science that was developed here at Flinders, you think that was worth it. That helped solve a case or resolve something that would not have happened otherwise if it hadn't been done for the research that we've developed here at Flinders in collaboration with Forensic Science SA. That's really fulfilling.